In this part of our debate, we're going to examine the questions, can we trust Matthew's account about the Roman guards? Do the New Testament writers conflict in describing who went to the tomb on Easter Sunday morning? Did the women see angels or men at the tomb? And how many angels did they see? And were the angels inside or outside the tomb? These and other questions will be discussed tonight, and I hope that you'll listen very carefully to this important information. And I'd, I'd say this to the people here and watching this program. When this program's over, you know, go home, turn off the TV, and what you do is you take the Bible, whatever version you want, and you put it side by side. And that's all I ask. You take the last chapters of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, put them side by side, compare them, see what they say, and I believe if you have eyes to see, you will see that there are some incredible contradictions there which lead you to, to ask, did anyone really know what happened? Listen, I love it. That's exactly what people ought to do. And when they see that these various narrators are not presenting the identical stories, ask one question. Are they complementary or are they contradictory? They will turn out to be as complementary as four witnesses on the stand to any traffic accident. And they point to the fact that you don't have collusion here. If these people all said exactly the same thing, my gosh, when I have somebody on the stand, on the other side, and this guy says exactly the same thing as the previous witness, wonderful, I want to raise the contingency fee. I'm going to win because this was done by collusion. <laughs> right. But there's a difference between between slight disagreement and apples and oranges. Well, these are not apples and oranges. You yourself have, 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 uh, have agreed that it's perfectly possible, for example, to have the Roman guard there at one time and the women there at another. It, there is no, no, I, don't, I don't agree to that. There is no metaphysical, well, is there a metaphysical no, necessity no, no. that Romans be there all the time? I don't accept Matthew's description, so I see no evidence for the guard. Well, that's a problem, isn't it? Because Matthew, according to Papias and Polycarp was there while you weren't.